to the yoga room. Today we will continue with our 15 minute yoga mini lessons to relieve stress. Sometimes when we're thinking there's so much going on in the world today, or particularly in our country, and we need to just set aside some time for bliss consciousness. So today let's enter some bliss consciousness together for 15 minutes and uh, clean the mind out a bit and go on. So we're going to start out on our back. We're going to release some tension in the lower back. We're going to start out on our back and I'll show this move from uh, front, back, and side so that you can see what I'm doing. Maybe this way is good. Okay, so you have the right knee up and the left leg extended and flatten the body, invite the pelvis to widen and relax. And then inhale into the upper lungs. Now on the exhale, you lift the right buttock and roll over onto the little toe side of your foot. But this knee stays upright and you're exhaling through the hips. And then inhale to the upper lungs, and then exhale. In order to do this, you need to use your right foot to keep this knee stable. And this is this lifting the right buttock and then flattening out, okay? So let's do that together. So start on your back, bring up your right knee, plant your right foot firmly, and you can wiggle your pelvis a bit, lengthen the back of your neck, flatten the top of your shoulders. We're going to inhale and then exhale. This feels delicious in the lower back. Inhale, upper lungs, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, I'm pouring the breath out the belly, out the hips, inhale, Fill up the upper lungs and exhale. And then straighten out that right leg. Let everything drop to the back body. Let your bliss consciousness come awake and course through your body. <clears throat> and then I'll demonstrate the other side from the side. You can watch from both angles. Okay. So now we're going to slide up our right knee, plant the, excuse me, left knee, plant the left foot, flatten the back. Inhale and then exhale. Lift that left buttock, keeping the knee upright and roll to the side of your right hip, spilling the breath out your belly. Inhale, exhale. So we'll do this five times. So everybody get ready. I'm going to use my hand to demonstrate the flow of breath. You don't have to do that. You can keep your hand flat. Flatten the back body. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Two more times. Inhale. Exhale. Relax. 
last one. Inhale. And exhale. From this position, lengthen your legs again. Just relax a moment. And then bring both knees up. Let the right foot, the sole of the right foot, kiss the sole of the left foot. Okay? And come into Supta Baddha Konasana. So, if you need blocks under your knees, put blocks under your knees. We're going to divide ourselves in half. And we're going to go bring our bliss consciousness in a circle around our body. So let's start by pressing the sole of the right foot against the left foot. You don't need the blocks, but if you have them, you might like them. And now press the right knee down. Or if you're not moving blocks, the right knee to the right. And release. Press down the back of the right hand, the thumb and little finger, press it down. Press down the right wrist. Press down the right elbow. Press down the back of the right shoulder. Lengthen the neck and press down the back of your head. Release. Now press down the back of your left shoulder. Release. Press down your left elbow. Release. Press down your left wrist. And then press down the little finger and thumb of your left hand to the floor. Release. Press down your left knee or move your left knee to the left. And then kiss your feet. Press down the back of your head. Press down your little finger and thumb and lengthen the mid midline. Inhale, exhale. And then bring your knees together. Roll on over and let's come up to a seated position and do Sukta Baddha, I mean do Baddha Konasana uh, if you have a blanket. It's always nice to lift the hips a little bit. So I have the blanket down there. I'm sitting on it, kissing the right foot against the left foot and bringing the feet in, lifting the spine up, lengthening. And let's inhale to the upper lungs, exhale, as if the nostrils are in the sit bones. So inhale, up towards the shoulders, exhale, down to the sit bone, inhale, from the sit bones to the shoulders, exhale, from the shoulders to the sit bones. Your back. You can feel what you're sitting on. Inhale up. Exhale down. Okay, now just move your feet out. It's raining here in Cambridge, Massachusetts. It's a wet day. The feet are still kissing each other. We're going to lift. We're going to do half crab. So lift the right hand, slide the right forearm underneath the right shin. If that's not comfortable for you, put the right forearm right along that uh, right shin. And we're going to breathe here. Breathing into the side ribs and the back ribs on the right side. Okay, ungluing, bringing bliss consciousness here. And just breathe. You want to try.
Turn your head and look over your right shoulder. Feel all the bliss running through the little left side. Come on up, pull the knees back, lengthen the back of the neck, drop the sit bones. Inhale, lift that left hand, really lengthen the left side. And we're going to do half crab on the other side, dropping the left forearm under the left shin or putting the left forearm on top of the left shin. Okay, now we're breathing into the right side ribs and the right back ribs, bringing bliss consciousness here. When you're ready, you can turn your head to the left. Ungluing. Come on up. Pull the knees back. Lift the spine. Lengthen the spine. Lengthen the back of the neck. Inhale from the sit bones up to the shoulders. Exhale from the shoulders down to the sit bones. And we can do the full crab or put the forearms on your shins. Come under. Okay, and we're going to waddle. We're just going to waddle back and forth. Like a crab stuck in the mud or sand. Softening the backs of the knees, pressing down the heels, pressing down the hips and sit bones, lengthening the spine, relaxing the arms, lifting the back of the neck. Can we breathe now from the base of the spine up to the third eye and then down to the base of the spine? Three times, starting with the exhale, inhale. bringing the female energy up and then the male energy down. So the male and female parts of our bliss consciousness in the breath. Okay, press on the blocks and we're just going to do, take one block on each side. If you don't have a block, you can just slide your hand down your shin and just stretch to the right, putting some mind back here, weight back there, so you're not rolling. And come back, let's walk the blocks over to the left, stretch forward, bringing some consciousness here into that right hip, pressing the right hip down as you stretch to the left. center and walk the blocks forward a bit, point the toes up, lengthen the back of the neck, soften the back of the knees, and then walk the blocks back, we cross our legs, okay, and just pull the knees back, and let's do some male-female breathing again. Bringing the female energy up the spine to the third eye, and then down from the third eye 
That's the male energy coming down to the female energy. Let's take three breaths together, starting with the exhale. And then I'll move my hands. You don't have to. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. So a balanced breath, a balanced body, a balanced mind, balanced behavior. So have a good week. And I will see you Tuesday. I guess that's election day here in the United States. So enjoy your week, and I will see you Tuesday. Please email me or, you know, message me on Facebook if you have any questions. So thank you for inviting me into your home.